how's it going everyone? This is Brandon Bias from JJCheck.com and welcome to a Photoshop quick tip. Whenever I'm working on something in Photoshop, whether it's a professional project for a client or just some random fun stuff that I'm doing just because I'm bored, uh, whatever it is I'm working on, I tend to like knowing where the center point of the document is. So that way, whenever I want to create something in a center, I can just create it and not have any second guesses about whether or not that thing is really in the middle of the document. And uh, the way I usually go about doing this is by going to view, I'll choose new guide, and I'll do 50% on the vertical and then do the same thing for the horizontal. And there we go. I've got some guides that show me where the center of the document is. And that's all well and good, but after a few dozen times or a hundred times or whatever, this is going to get old and very repetitive. And trust me, I'm sick of doing this over and over again. And for those of you out there that are probably trolling, thinking, hey, why didn't you just make this into an action? Trust me, I tried. It didn't work the way it should. <laughs> and uh, let, me, let me show you exactly what it is that, uh, that was the problem with... I'm turning this into an action. So uh, let's go ahead and open up our actions panel off to the right hand side. If you guys don't have the actions panel already, you can bring it up by going to window and choosing actions over here. And let's go ahead and click this little folded paper icon to create a new action. We'll call this our bad center point. All right. And I'm going to put this in my guide set. You can put it wherever the heck you want. Anyway, let's go ahead and click record here. And we'll do our view, new guide, 50% on the horizontal, then view, new guide, 50% on the vertical, click OK, and there we go. Now we can press stop, because that's all there is to it, really. And let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll test this bad boy out. So let's get rid of our guides real quick. We'll go back and push play, and boom, it seems to work, right? Wrong. What if we try to do the same exact thing on another size document. So let's go bump over to something that's 500 by 500. We'll choose our bad center point and push play. And our center point is way the heck down here. That's not our center point. That's way out in butt fluff nowhere. <laughs> that's not very helpful at all. And until recently, I didn't know why it was doing this. But after some diving into it and opening up some of the, the, the info here for this uh, make command here you'll notice that it says make new guide at a position of 540 pixels and make a new guide at a position of 960 pixels so rather than recording a position of 50 percent and another position of 50 percent it's recording the actual pixels that it created those guides at so no matter what size document that i try to play this action on it's going to create those guides at 540 by 960 and or whatever vice versa and that's not what we want that is insanely counterproductive for what it is that we're trying to accomplish here and I finally know how to go about fixing this to make it record the percentage and not the pixels so let's uh, let's go back here real quick and we'll close this up and before we create our new action here we need to change something in our preferences so let's go ahead and bring those up by hitting control K or command K if you happen to be on a Mac and let's bump down to our units and rulers. And you'll notice that our rulers are set to pixels. And that's usually what I have. So that way when I'm creating a marque or a shape of some sort, it'll tell me how big that is in pixels. But this turns out to be my downfall when it comes to creating an action for guides at a certain percentage. So in order to you know bypass that problem, we need to change from pixels down to percent. So let's click OK. Let's create our new action. We'll call these our good center point. All right. And let's click record here. And once again, we'll do view. We'll do new guide, 50% vertical. And then view, new guide, 50% at the horizontal. Click OK. Let's push the stop icon. And let's go ahead and go test this out. So let's go to our 500 by 500 and push play. Hey, would you look at that? It's in the middle. Let's go ahead and try one more time in this random size document here. We'll push play. Whoops, I missed. There we go. And boom, voila, smack dab in the middle. And all is as it should be. And it now works. So it turns out, guys, all we need to do is change our preferences from, uh, from pixels to percent. And that way, everything's all nice and fixed. And uh, just to kind of throw this idea out there, you don't have to... 
uh, only do this with a center point guide, you can actually create some other uh, useful things. For example, I created an action for overscan, which is uh, something that happens on TVs and stuff, and you usually uh, need to take that into account when you're creating like DVDs or stuff that's going on television, you know, just anything like that. And so these are normally made at uh, 10% and 20% around the edges here. And until now, I couldn't make an action for that. But now that I know, I can create it. It's pretty handy. So now you guys can create all kinds of uh, fun actions and stuff with guys at percentages or millimeters or whatever the heck it is that you guys need. Now you guys have all the tools you need to make that happen. So if you guys were able to learn something new out of this, please give the video a like. Or if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I will see you around next time.